Today, I'm going to be explaining how Mentos acts as a catalyst in Diet Coke. For this experiment, you will need Mentos candy, Diet Coke, and plenty of open space. Uh, this beverage will be erupting. There are no safety concerns for this experiment, but using different number of Mentos or amount of Coke can change the outcome of the reaction. Uh, it can exert higher pressures. Either way, stand clear of the geyser. Uh, very quickly, I'm using Diet Coke instead of Standard Coke due to its aspartame content. Uh, this lowers the surface tension of the Diet Coke or of the beverage, and hopefully this will allow for a larger geyser. When Mentos are dropped inside of the Diet Coke, disruption occurs. Uh, fascinatingly, disruption occurs at the site of the individual pores on the Mentos surface. And the disruption in these pores serves as a site for gas creation, in this case, carbon dioxide. Uh, this gas is actually created so quickly that it creates a geyser effect. To perform this experiment, place the Diet Coke in an open area, at least 10 feet from other objects. Remove the lid from the Diet Coke. Take your Mentos candy. In this experiment, I will use two. Drop the candy in the Diet Coke, then swiftly back away to record your observations from this reaction. As you can see, in the form of bubbles, carbon dioxide was produced. 